Hello and welcome to this presentation about discomfort in VRHMDs. My name is Teresa and this is work that was conducted by Ulm University, Telecom Paris and University of Stuttgart. Feelings of discomfort or even sickness are frequently occurring undesired negative side effects of VR use. These feelings of discomfort have been referred to with several terms such as simulator sickness, visually induced motion sickness, cyber sickness or VR sickness. And the tool that is usually used to assess symptoms of these sicknesses is the simulator sickness questionnaire. The SSQ was developed in the early 90s to study symptoms in Navy pilots during flight simulator training. Today, the SSQ is a dominant questionnaire that is used to assess sickness symptoms in VR settings. However, research indicates that the SSQ is of limited suitability as a comprehensive measure of symptoms that occur in VR. Among other aspects, it accounts for only one category of symptoms and neglects others that are nowadays more important to consumer uses of VR technology, but weren't of that importance back when the questionnaire was developed. Still, the questionnaire is heavily used in uh, today's VR research. To get an overview of why and how the questionnaire is used in today's research, we conducted a systematic literature review on the current practice in the use of SSQ. In particular, we were interested in the author's rationales of using the questionnaire. We followed the PRISMA process to identify relevant papers, and we found 309 papers that were published in the last 11 years after applying exclusion and inclusion criteria. As such term, we simply used simulator sickness questionnaire. The main results of the survey are that in only 37% of the papers, authors stated to use the SSQ to assess simulator sickness. In 19%, cyber sickness, visually induced motion sickness, or VR sickness were given as rationales. And in almost one third of the papers, no rationale was given or was mentioned of why the SSQ was used. Furthermore, in 96% of the papers, the SSQ was the only measure of discomfort that was employed, and in only 4% of the papers, an additional measure, namely digital eye strain, was reported. Lastly, in 39% of the papers, no visual vestibular conflict, uh, conflict was present, which is known to be the main cause of simulator sickness. Taken together, these results indicate that the use of the SSQ has become common practice in VR research, and that the questionnaire is often applied without being specifically interested in assessing simulator sickness. Rather, it seems that it is used to assess general negative side effects uh, of the technology. However, as the questionnaire covers only one category of symptoms, others that have increased in relevance to users, such as digital eye strain or symptoms caused by the headset's ergonomics, are not covered. However, to draw a more comprehensive picture of discomfort in VR HMDs, they should also be considered. Therefore, in a second step, we conducted a user study to compare the prevalence and severity of these three symptom categories. In the user study, we asked more than 300 participants to fill out three symptom questionnaires after a 30-minute VR experience. We then analyzed the symptoms using an exploratory factor analysis. We found six orthogonal factors of discomfort in VR HMDs, with one being digital eye strain, one simulator sickness, and four addressing specific, specific aspects of economic symptoms. When comparing the mean symptom severity scores of these factors, we can see that the two most severe factors were perceived change in sweating, followed by digital eye strain and symptoms caused by the attachment of the device. Simulator sickness and neck and shoulder pain were the least severe symptoms. Furthermore, we asked participants to rate the relevance of each symptom category to general discomfort by directly comparing each two of the categories. We found that digital eye strain and ergonomic symptoms were more relevant to users than simulated sickness. To conclude, our key results are that it has become common practice to use the SSQ to assess symptoms of VR sickness, although it doesn't provide a comprehensive picture of discomfort. We therefore provide an extended factor model of discomfort and found that symptoms of digital eye strain and symptoms caused by the headset's ergonomics seem to be more pre prevalent and more severe than simulator sickness. With this work, we aim to trigger a discussion in the community of rethinking discomfort in VR and its measurements. Furthermore, we aim to lay the foundations of a more sensitive measure of discomfort in VR HMDs. Thank you very much for listening and I'm happy to answer your questions now.